Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today we're going to do the second part of the spelling and phonics pictures for first grade journeys lesson four. And just like I said, it's the second part or practice B. We're going to write uh, words 11 to 20 for Lucia's neighborhood. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper where you're going to write your numbers 11 to 20. So if you need to push pause, get a pencil, get a piece of paper, write um, your numbers 11 to 20, and then um, push play when you're ready. At the end of this lesson, um, I encourage you to get crayons or your pencil, and you're going to rainbow write or just write your words one, two, three more times for extra reading and writing and spelling practice. So your teacher might have given you this worksheet that has the words 11 through 20 on them. And if so, use this worksheet. And for this, you will need three crayons to rainbow write and match the words below. Our learning target. I can correctly read and spell first grade words with short e as in e, e, elephant and consonants y and w. Success criteria. That means how will you know you're successful at correctly reading and spelling first grade words with short e, 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 e and the consonants y and w. Well, just like these people are climbing the, the mountain, we're doing a, a learning mountain. We're climbing our learning mountain. Our goal is to get to the top and reach the learning target. And here's our steps for success. So read them with me. I will read and say each word. I will spell and write each word. I will do my best. And I will write each word three more times. That's your challenge at the end of the lesson. So number one, oh, first let's review words with short e, 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 elephant, and consonants y and y, y, yo, yo, and w, 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 wagon. Number one, what do you think this is? Pet, P-E-T, pet. Say it, pet. Write it, P-E-T, P-E-T. Now I'm going to stretch it out like a rubber band. Pet. Now I'm going to shrink it and say it fast. Pet, pet, pet. Now I'm going to segment or count the sounds. Pet. Slide them together, pet. Make sure you write that for number 11. Now, this is going to rhyme with pet. What is it? Pet net. N-E-T. Write it. N-E-T. Spell it out loud. N-E-T. Read it. Net. N-E-T. I'm going to stretch it like a rubber band. Net. Now I'm going to shrink it. Net. Now I'm going to say the individual sounds. N -e -t. Slide them together, net. Say the two rhyming words, pet, net, pet, net. What do we think this is? Den. The bear is sleeping in his den, which is like a cave. Den, D-E-N, spell it, D-E-N, write it, D-E-N. Say it, den. Now I'm going to stretch it out like a rubber band. Den. Now I'm going to shrink it or say it fast. Den. Now I'm going to segment the sounds and count them. D, e, n. Slide them together. Den. The bear is sleeping in her den. Den. Now number 14 is going to rhyme with den. What do you think it is? You got it, men, say it, men, spell it, M-E-N, write it, M-E-N, M-E-N. 
Now I'm going to stretch it like a rubber band. Men. Now I'm going to shrink it or say it fast. Men. Now I'm going to segment the sounds. Mm, eh, mm. Now I'm going to slide the sounds together. Men. All right. Den. Men. They belong to the N word family. They rhyme. Den. Men. Number 15. Rhymes with den and men. Who is it? It's a name of a person. Ben, like Ben 10 or Ben, Ben Franklin. Ben, stretch it out. Ben, shrink it. Ben, oh, I forgot to spell it. B-E-N, B-E-N. Write it, B-E-N. Read it, Ben. What rhymes with Ben? And then, oh, 10. 10, Ben, 10. Hey, they call that boy at the top Ben 10. And there's the number 10. Spell it T E N, T E N, 10. Read it 10. Write it T E N. I'm going to stretch it 10. And I'm going to shrink it or say it fast 10. Now I'm going to say segment the sounds T E N. Slide them together, 10. Ben, 10. Number 17. What are the monkeys doing on the bed? They're jumping on the bed. B-E-D, B-E-D. Write it, B-E-D. Now I'm gonna stretch it. Bed, bed, shrink it. Now I'm gonna say the individual sounds. Eh, d. Slide them together. Bed. Make sure you've written number 17. Bed. If you need to, push pause if I'm going too fast or too quickly. What rhymes with bed? It's a color. Red. Bed. Red. They rhyme. R E D. R E D. Read it. What is it? Red. R-E-D, spell it, R-E-D, write it, R-E-D, red. Now I'm going to stretch it out, red. Now I'm going to shrink it, red. Again, red. Now I'm going to shrink it, red. R -E -D. Slide the sounds together, red. Bed, red. This rhymes with bed and red. It's past tense. Led, like it says at the top where the mom and the baby ducks follow the leader. The, the mama led or is leading the ducks. Led is past tense, L-E-D. Write it, L-E-D. Spell it, R uh, L-E-D. I'm going to stretch it. Lead. Now I'm going to shrink it. Lead. Now I'm going to say the individual sounds. L-E-D. L-E-D. Slide them together. Lead. She led the, the way. Lead. What rhymes with lead? Oh, this is my favorite. Something you do in the snow, sled. The, the dog sled down the hill, or they are riding in a sled. It can either be an action, they sled, or it can be a noun, the sled. They are in the sled going down the hill. Led, sled. Now I'm going to spell it S L E D, sled. S L E D. Sled. Now I'm going to stretch it. Sled. Now I'm going to shrink it. Sled. Now I'm going to say in the individual sounds. S-O-E-D. Slide them together like a sled. Sled. Now it's time to check your work. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's check our work. What was number 11? Do you, can you read that? Pet. P-E-T. P-E-T. 
I pet my pet dog. Pet. Um, number 12. Rhymes with pet. Net. N-E-T. N-E-T. She used a net to catch the butterfly. Or she used the net to catch the fish. Net. Number 13. Den. D-E-N. Den. The bear slept in the den. D-E-N. Den. 14. Den and men. 14 is men. It rhymes with den. Men. M-E-N. I saw the men at the school. Men. Men. Number 15 rhymes with den and men is Ben. It's a name, so you need to put capital B. E-N for Ben 10 or Ben Franklin. Number 16 rhymes with den and men and Ben. It is 10. T-E-N. I had 10. Ladybugs, 10, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, so we've got pet, net, den, men, ben, 10. Number 17, what is it? Bed, B-E-D, bed. Um, I slept in the bed, B-E-D, bed. 18, red. I love the color red, R-E-D, R-E-D, red. Number 19, led. She led the group on the hike. She led the way, L-E-D, L-E-D, led. And finally, 20 rhymes with bed, red, led, is sled, S-L-E-D, sled. They sled down the hill, or they are riding the sled. Let's reflect on your paper, your learning target. What was it? I can correctly read and spell first grade words with short E, as in e -e elephant, and consonants Y and W. Four. Would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I was able to read, write, and spell all the words easily and correctly. Four. Three, I was able to read, write, and spell most of the words correctly. Or two, I was able to read, write, and spell some of the words correctly. Or one, I was not able to read, write, and spell any of the words correctly. How do you think you did? Now, let's reflect on how well did you hit the target by following class expectations. That means did you participate the whole time and do your best? Four, I'm an expert. I was fully engaged in trying. Three, I'm a master. I was mostly engaged in trying. Two, I'm an apprentice. I sometimes tried. Or one, I'm a novice. I had a hard time participating today. How do you think you did? All right, remember that paper with your 11 through 20 spelling words. It's time to challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Work those brain muscles, get your crayons or just your pencil. And it's time to rainbow write or write your words three more times. One, two, three. Read, write, and spell them. All right, boys and girls, thank you for doing the spelling and phonics words with me today. I had fun. I hope you did too. Have a great day.